Good morning ladies and gentlemen Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Nama Budaya, and greetings of benevolence to all of us I'm Hasan Hamsan Albar from SMA Pradita Dirgantara For opening my speech, I would like to say this that nowadays everything needs money even when you go to the toilet you need to pay for it and these things need some money but it's hard to get the money economic sector always become a big problems in all around the world even in our country indonesia look around because of pandemic covid 19 many employees have to close their store and their business many employees got fired from their business let alone the people who live in the street. What can we do to fix these problems? Many people need to start from the zero. Many people need to, to start from the beginning and it's hard. So what can we do? We can collaborate with other people to start from the beginning. You know, it's not hard if we do some things together. It's not a big problem if we do some things together. These collaborations does not end up here. As a countries that have a complicated problems more than the humans, we need to build a relations too with another country. We need to collaborate to solve the world problems like the international trade stability. Trades is a key factor to ending up the global poverty. Besides that, trades brings many benefits and opportunities too but looking to the fact that there are still countries that they already do trade but they haven't yet got the benefits this is not because they do a fake trade this is not because they get scam of other countries but this because they fail to face the problems they face they fail to face the challenge so as I can say, as I say before, that everything needs money. In this case, to get the benefits you need to solve, you need to face the challenges. The challenge is such as transportations, telecommunications, complicated regulatory environments. You know that not only grow, grow that complicated, but our regulations could be complicated too. You know that a complicated grill brings a big challenge for the boys. Same as the complicated regulations, it will be, it will bring a uh, big challenge for the countries. The questions now is how that the multilateralisms solve the problems, the economic problems. How the multilateralisms organizations affect the stability of international trade. What is multilateralism really is? Multilateralism can be defined as the international relationship between one between more than two countries. This shows the collaboration or cooperations that these countries are solve problems. The multilateralism exists is not because the presidents are in one frequency, but this exists to solve a world problem such as international trade stability. When we talk about multilateralisms and trade, we also talk about the multilateral trade agreements. What is this? This is a treaty between three or more countries that are intended to promote commerce. The agreements reduce traffic, tariffs and make it easier for business to import and export their things or services. Multilateral agreements make all signatories that each country, each other equally. So not only gender equality, but you must treat uh, other countries equal. So it can be like country equality. Not country, no country can give better trade deals to one country than it does to another. The example, the near from us is AFTA. It's the Asian's free trade area. This is a form of cooperation between Southeast Asia's country in the economic fields. One thing that I highlighted of the AFTA goals is eliminate export and import tax fees for countries belonging to ASEAN members. One of the brief examples is when Indonesians and Vietnam and also Thailand make a trade uh, make a 
tradings like Indonesia export their Indomies to Thailand and Vietnam and Thailand make the export to uh, Thai tea to Indonesia and Vietnam and also Vietnam export the Vietnam coffees to Thailand and uh, Indonesia and this would n this not co not have the bear chukais and also export import cost so it's beneficial to uh, all countries that do these tradings and the next things that I want to talk is about it's about WBH do you know what is WBG so it's not a Warner it's not a Warner boss Bros games or WBG glow but WBG is stand from the World Bank's group World Bank's group have and about 119 members and the World Bank groups helps its client countries to improve their access to developed country markets and enhance their participations in the world economics. Be beside the World Bank group, we also have one organization, one multilateralisms that move in the economic sector, that move in international threat sectors, that this is so popular uh, organizations, this named WTO. This is not a type of helmet, but this stands for World Trade Organizations. But what is WTO really is? From the website, uh, they mentioned that the World Trade Organization is the only global international organizations dealing with the rules of trade between nations. WTO is an organization of trade opening. It operates a system trade rules. Essential, essentially, the WTO is a place where members government from an, another country, from a lot of countries in this world try to sort out the trade problems they face with each other. The WTO has had success in several areas including the effectiveness resolutions of various trades, disputes, and the settlements of new multilateral trade agreements. Global rules, the one rules that uh, which w WTO make uh, of trade provide assurance uh, and stability. Consumer and producers know they can enjoy secure supplies and greater choice over their finance, finished products, components, raw materials, and service they use. Produ producers and exp exporters know foreign markets will remain open to them. All major decision decisions in these organizations and rules are made by WTO's members' government. And the members of WTO is about 160 nations representing 98% of world trade. So, in, con in conclusions, multilateralism brings many effects to stabilizing international trading. Lastly, I want to say that things, uh, bigger things, will be easier if we do it together so that's all i can say i close with wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh